When you're going into commercial to residential projects, it's really important that you have a plan A, plan B and plan C. Let's discuss commercial conversions. With commercial conversions, how we're discussing them here, you will need a full planning application. Now, it's something that can be achieved. And what you've got to remember is that planners do have a sensible approach in many cases. They simply want to make sure that what you're actually creating fits into the surroundings, fits into what the proposals are for the council, and you know they take a prudent approach. So with commercial conversions, you can go into a planning application. Really important when you're converting commercial properties into residential, that you work out your profit margins right from the beginning. Now we work out profit margins after all costs, so it's not just the purchase price. Keep in mind you've got the buying costs, you've got solicitor's fees, you've got stamp duty, land tax, financing costs, so all of these have to also go into your costs, right? So you work your margin out after all costs. And your lenders, if you're getting finance, will also be wanting to know what these finance costs are. Now when it comes to lenders in my experience, they will typically look for a minimum 15% to 20% margin after all costs when it comes to your project. So if you're looking to get lending, please make sure you check all of this right at the beginning so that you're confident and aligned with what you're actually doing. When you're going into commercial to residential projects, it's really important that you have a plan A, plan B and plan C. Plan A is not your most optimistic because what happens if you don't get the most optimistic result? Plan A is what happens if nothing happened. If you couldn't convert that commercial property and you was left with the commercial property, that is your plan A. The plan A is, can you still financially survive? Can you still make the project viable if you didn't get the planning? So I would suggest you always work out your numbers as a starting point from that. Plan B is the one that you think is very doable because that's why you're getting into this project. So you aim for plan B, however, you got plan A in the background, knowing that if you didn't get what you want, then you can still be safe and secure and you can move on to the next project and you'll gain a lot of experience. Plan C is your most optimistic. So plan C is what you hope for. Plan B is what you're actually going to achieve. But you know, in my experience, plan C often happens. So, but you haven't gone in there like a fool. You've gone in there with three plans, knowing that you've de-risked and at the same time, you're looking to stretch it and get the maximum result for that project. I hope you're enjoying these insights. Now, I'd love to hear your comments as well. You can uh, click on that bell icon and get the latest notifications. Even I've worked out where that one is. And you can also subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm doing a number of videos like this, informative to help you to move forward in your property journey. Now, why would you take a commercial property and convert it into a residential? Because when you look at various areas across the country, many of the brownfield sites where you have properties it's the residential properties that tend to have the most uplift. They are the ones that tend to have the highest values. So for this reason, in many cases, it makes sense to take a commercial property and convert it into a residential. Also, in the current climate where we are right now, there are many shops, offices closing down, uh, many secondary parades and tertiary parades that are sitting there empty. So these properties are extremely viable to be converted into residential property and the government and the planning system has opened up and is becoming easier to actually take those commercial properties and convert them into residential. So you create an uplift, you create revenue, and whether you want to help the community or not, you end up helping the community. Thank you so much for watching this and taking the time to really you know, move forward in property. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now's the time that you can do this. Please do feel free to comment in the comments below and I would like to hear from you. Tell me what you think. Is there any other videos that you would like me to cover that will help you to help yourself to move forward? So if you haven't already subscribed, now's the time to subscribe.